Hey, what's going on? This is Rob from Panther, and today we're going to check it out how to create this letter S in Illustrator. First step, let's select the type tool, click. I'm going to scale it up. By the way, I'm using the enter extra bold. I'm going to type in the letter S. I'm going to scale it up, go to object, go to expand, click OK. Okay, so from here, we're gonna swap it from field to stroke. I'm gonna swap with these arrows. I'm gonna select the direct selection tool, select this one, delete this line and the ending line at the bottom. There we go. Right click on the letter S on group. And let's check if it's on grouped. As you can see, it is not on grouped. They're still together. So I'm gonna select right click again and release clipping path. So now it should be good. There you go, select both, go to object, go to blend and select make. I can double click here on the blend tool, select specified steps, increase the blend number. I gotta go with four, click okay. I gotta go to object, expand appearance, click okay. All right, I gotta increase the stroke thickness somewhere around seven, eight in this situation. And from here, I gotta go to the effects I'm using the Illustrator 2022, so we're gonna need the classic options from the 3D. I'm gonna go here to the 3D classics, I'm gonna go to the extrude and bevel, and voila, we got the old options from the 3D. Let's go to position and select isometric top. And I'm gonna decrease the extrusion depth to zero. Click OK, go to object, expand appearance. I'm gonna select a color, I'm gonna go with this blue. Gonna press and hold all to drag it up somewhere around here, and I'm gonna change it to magenta. Or if you go, if you wanna go and uh, kick it to the next level, I'm gonna bring this here. I'm gonna press and hold all again, drag it up, and I'm gonna select the yellow. So it's gonna be the CMYK color. I'm gonna select all of it, and I'm gonna go to the vertical distribute center. There you go. So select all of it. Go to object. Click on the blend. Select make. I'm gonna double click on the blend tool, select specify steps, type in. I'm gonna go with 800, click OK. Okay, it looks pretty interesting. I'm gonna select it, go to object, go to expand, click OK. Let's see if it goes to normal. There you go, it's perfect. Oh my God, it looks, but it is going to slow down your computer a lot. So make sure that you have a strong computer because we have like, 800 copies of this. And this is how you make this beautiful uh, stroke effect in 3D uh, in Illustrator. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye-bye.